Greetings, greetings, greetings once again, my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for checking this video out. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow, West Indies and India will start battle in the first test match. And I know the Caribbean people, they are waiting, you know, they are anxiously waiting. As much as how we curse and say we're not going to watch West Indies cricket, we're not listening, we're not going to the game. Once the game is on, most of us as fans, we're going to turn the televisions on and we're going to try and watch the game. So tomorrow, I doubt it's going to be any difference. I can foresee the fans watching the game and then at the end of the day's play, if we are in the lead, they will come out and start you know, rejoicing. If we are on the back foot, then the opposite we will come and curse as usual. So, you know, one thing I can say is that whichever way it go, I know that most of you are going to be watching the game. Um, you know, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Coach Andre Coley. He spoke uh, to the CWI media personnel and, you know, he was talking about what we need to do to try and um, get one over on the Indians. So, we're going to talk about that and a few other things. Just give a listening ear until the end and make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, so... Andre Coley, he was saying that, you know, he is looking forward to making his debut. We know this is him uh, coaching the West Indies senior team as the permanent coach for the first time. You know, he was the interim coach a little while back and then he was announced as a full-time coach. You know, according to him, he's looking forward to going out there and getting the guys together and putting on a good performance for the people there in um, Dominica and around the rest of the Caribbean. Uh, he was talking about the results, saying that results are always important. You know, you want to win games. You want to make sure that you are performing. But at the same time, you know, they are looking uh, at the process. They are looking at the process um, of improving. That is what he is mostly focused on. The results are important, but, you know, the process of moving forward is what they are looking at right now, based on where the team is at. team isn't at a good place. You understand, I mean... The test team is probably at the best place out of the three different um, out of the three formats. But he's saying that you know it's all about improving and you know showing the right attitude. So two things that he spoke about mostly was uh, the players going out there and showing the right attitude and showing the right um the, the right energy. You understand? We would have seen Brathwaite yesterday talking about uh the players showing good attitude, good energy. Even if they are chasing down a ball to the boundary, make sure that they chase it as if their life depends on it. Put in that slide. Don't just run and give up. So all of these things I'm assuming is what the coach is talking about. But one thing I notice is that they always talk about attitude and, and energy and, 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 and things like that. But I, I very, very rarely do we hear them talk about the skill set. You understand? I'm wondering if it's a case where they think that the players are actually, you know, usually good enough but it's because of their attitude why, and, and how they, they implement certain things while they are not performing. And the reality is that sometimes we, we, we meet our match. Sometimes we go up against teams that, you know, they, they are just totally better than us. And, um, you know, our skill set are not at that level. The talent and the technique is probably not at that level, you know, if we are going to be blatantly honest. So I guess that is why you have to look at attitude and... Um, energy and don't really focus on technique and what is going to actually you know the main thing that you need to win the game which is actually performing you understand i mean you need attitude and energy to perform but you know um he also spoke about uh you know the the, the, the the other team saying that we don't have direct control over what they do over what they will be doing we have direct control over ourselves so we just need to make sure that when we are out there we are doing the basic things well and we are covering for each other. You know, he spoke about uh, identifying uh, key moments in the game when we are on top. Yes, identifying key parts of the game, game when we are on top and what we can do to continue to be on top and to continue to push on to get into a better um, position that we, than we would have already been in. He also spoke about if we are on the back foot, how we need to come up with plans, you know, that we need to try and find ways to work together, make sure that, you know, we are communicating well and, you know, we are working with the plan, you know, so that we can find a way to um, get back on level grounds if we are up against it. You understand? He also spoke about, um, you know, 
trying to make sure that you know we we we, we find a way we find a way as a team to, to to show the fans that we are trying you understand and to show the fans that they are working hard you know the, as i said it's the same basically the same thing that uh Craig Brathwaite spoke about so it seems as if the, the CWI media people they are they, you know they they it seems as if PR team is is hard at work because there's a uni, unified message that is coming out and it's good when a unified message is coming out but we don't we don't just want it to be robotic you understand we want it we want people to to talk as what is happening there so you know we we, we definitely anticipating this game and as I said um, the coach is looking forward to getting off on the right foot now i was doing some reading today and it would appear as if uh india the couple of guys are going to make their debut in that first test uh test uh test debut uh ishan kishan and jizwal i think that i think i saw something you know on an indian website saying that it's it's it's, it's a strong possibility that those guys will be in the plane 11. um so we, we we're going we're going to monitor that well not even monitor that we would have seen these guys playing white ball format and you know they, they are pretty good so you know we are hoping that our bowlers will come to the party we're hoping that our batsmen will stand up and they will be counted because at the end of the day you cannot play half and half cricket against teams that are ranked inside the top five and expect to um expect to get away free you understand we, we, we don't want it to be a case where our bowlers go out there and put on a good showing then the batsmen you know they are unable to to really uh replicate and do what they need to do and vice versa so the people of Dominica, once again i am imploring you guys once you are you, you you are capable of doing so go out and support the guys i know that our cricket is at a stage now where you know we feel like giving up but at the end of the day you know we, we, we have to see if we can give the guys the support um don't know how many of you uh, uh saw the video that i did earlier today i gave my plane 11 um won't spend any time talking about that uh too much i will just quickly go through it in case you didn't see the first video so i have um i played the two debutants as much as i don't want to do that but i have uh i have tasia and shandapal and and and, and brathwaite kirk mckenzie alec arthanes i have jermaine blackwood what's that five uh that joshua de silva six uh, we have uh, Jason Hola, 7, Carnwall, 8, Batting Can Change Up, 8. We have Alzari Joseph, we have uh, Shannon Gabriel and uh, and Kima Roach. Right? So those are the 11 players that I would use based on the squad. It's just a squad of 13. So that would mean Raymond Rafa and Jamal Warrikan would be sitting um, and, and, and watching the game. So going to leave it right there for now. Just let me know in the comment section. What you all think about this one? Sports to the bone. Keeping it informed. Big up.